Uh, my name is Kabul Flanagan, and I'm a uh, director of uh, engineering at Kulik and Soft. Uh, we make wire bonders. Uh, these are uh, complex pieces of equipment, and uh, I was assigned uh, late last year to work on lean product development, lean engineering. And uh, I was really struggling with what to do and how to get started. And I was searching in literature, and I found an article that Catherine wrote that I found really helped me understand what it was that uh, Lean was about. Um, and to the best of my knowledge, I went and I called her, and she was very receptive to that. She came and visited, and um, we got going on my Lean journey, and she, she helped me get going on that. And early in that process, we needed to identify things that we wanted to do with the company. Uh, we could apply Lean principles and um, really kind of just get going. And, I'm very kind of action oriented and I was very frustrated with that a little bit, but I stuck with Catherine and I, I, I'm very grateful for her coaching, helping me really understand about getting critical wins early and about how to, um, how to organize and how to drive change. And, uh, as a not very process focused person, of course, Lean is very process intense. I'm not a very process person and uh, getting that help and getting that direction was very, very helpful for me personally. So we went on this uh, kind of journey to find, well, what can we actually try and make a big difference in? And we settled on two things. One of them was uh, working with our Singapore, we have two sites, we have a site in Singapore and a site in Washington, working with the Singapore guys in sustaining engineering. So we have a bit more transactional engineering process where we deal with customer requests and requests from operations and requests from marketing to actually execute engineering tasks and improvements on existing pieces of equipment. Uh, so we decided that we would, and this process has been around for seven years, and it's never been touched and it never had been uh, improved at all. But actually, a lot of dissatisfaction among the team and among the, the customers of that process um, uh, with its performance. So we decided to go and, uh, with Catherine's advice, and, and I was very grateful for that, to go to Singapore and actually work on improving this process using lead principles. So we did this in three phases. The first phase is we went out to Singapore for a week, and we went and we learned about the people, we learned about the environment, we learned what the job was, we talked about expectations with human resources, with marketing, with operations, with advanced manufacturing engineering. We basically conducted a week of interviews, and the purpose of that was to really get an understanding for what it is we were trying to do. Now, Catherine, of course, I think had a bit more vision of what the end might look like than I did, but. She helped me and us through kind of the next phase. So Catherine invented the PPM process improvement blitz. And I thought that's really goofy. It's a blitz. You know, blitz, you know, reminds me of squash events when I was a kid, you know, they you know, blitz. Um, but actually it was a very perfect choice of words. And we had a blitz about six weeks later. We went back to Singapore, we got a team, about half of the 30 or so engineers involved. We worked with these guys. Um, but with 14 of the 30 guys to actually do a value stream mapping. The value stream mapping has got some benefits, but in this context, it was very, very helpful. So we did this value stream mapping process over a four-day period. On day one, we value stream mapped the existing process. On day two, we kind of talked about what we needed to do different and what was bad and what was good. On day three, we future state mapped it. And on day four, we went through the process of how to link our current stream to our future stream, our future map. And what was great about it was, was bringing the team together, having lean principles being constantly interjected throughout the process, and having the team collectively really own the future stage of what we were trying to do. Um, so that's what we did. And on the fifth day, we had a presentation to, to my boss to explain to him what had actually happened. Um, so we, kicked off on the next Monday, we kicked off the process, and then we went back, and we had a, had a series of conference calls with the owners of Singapore, with the product owner, with the, with the, with the, with the manager, and then the kind of marketing product owner. Um, that had been very, very fruitful. Um, the team since has um, really formed, actually we ended up with this kind of agile, this two-week agile uh, uh, system, and a hardware scrum, I guess you could call it. 
and the team is now already in their third um, iteration of that new Scrum. Um, they're recording metrics about their performance in terms of their ability to, to deliver uh, to their commitment. They've reduced the amount of things that they've been working on so that they can actually achieve something rather than having 15 things that each engineer can actually achieve something. We're measuring utilization. We're seeing where the big holes are. We find the process guys are at about 86% utilization. The MHS guys are at about 14% utilization. So, you know, it's really dense information. It's things that we can actually use to really work out the next step with that process. So uh, we're going to go back again. We're going to work, continue to work with the team on driving out waste and trying to identify how we can better utilize the people to get maximum productivity in that process. So um, it's been a great experience working with Catherine. It's been um, very, uh, it's been difficult for me at times because of my just my learning curve. But I've been very well coached, and I feel that I'm much further along my lean journey than I was certainly when I started at Glasgow Cambridge.